Pulled in the lobby by building personnel. Uh, they escorted us to an elevator immediately. Uh, we went to the 51st floor. After that, we got out and went up about six flights of stairs. We got to the roof. What we saw was a debris field that was on fire, uh, contained to the roof, and uh, one casualty. So I immediately uh, got on the radio to let command know what we had down on uh, what we had on the roof, so that they down below could start sending uh, the appropriate. Uh, resources up to us on the roof. So we then had to stretch lines, get the fire out, uh, make sure that the debris field was as contained as it was. Uh, when we got onto the roof, we had to pass along in the outside and uh, it was definitely flame. It was just a debris field. Uh, it appeared to be a helicopter, which is what I radioed down to command. It didn't appear to be a plane at all. Um, so it was uh, on fire in a contained area, which was very important for command to understand that at this point it was in a contained area. And it, uh, unfortunately, there was one casualty, which I had to phone down and let them know. Lieutenant Walsh, we've seen those two photos. Can you talk about the level of disintegration up there? How much the chopper broke up? Um, yes, there was quite quite a bit of disintegration. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit? Um, there wasn't many whole pieces left. Lieutenant, could you tell right away that there was skin? Lieutenant, could you tell right away that it not spilled over the side? Were you concerned about that in the beginning? Um, I had someone go up above to make sure that the uh, the area above was clear and that there wasn't anything else. So we, we, we went above and we also went below to make sure that nothing had dropped down. 